What's up guys, welcome to another Pokemon box open. Today we got a Battle Styles ETB. Just came back from GameStop trying to um to get this. It's definitely a whole new way. Hold on. It's definitely a much tougher system to get cards now just because of the of the uh, target nonsense and whatnot. So now if you want Pokemon cards, man, you really gotta go above and beyond. You gotta go to every other store available that has them just to get whatever you can. Uh, and yeah, so called up a GameStop. They said they had one of these around. Went down there and grabbed it as soon as I could. Now, I know Battle Styles is definitely not for everybody. Not everybody, uh, likes it just because of the pull rates and whatnot. But you know what? I mentioned before that, uh, Battle Styles for me, I'm, I'm biased. It's definitely the set that was that came out when I first got back into this. So let's see what we get. Hopefully, we can pull. Urshifu, VMAX, Rainbows, Gold, you know, oh, the usual deal. So let's see what we got going on here. Okay, here we go. There's that. Let's get this going. And we've had some decent luck with the ETBs. I mean, you know, nothing super crazy, but I mean, we definitely have pulled a whole bunch of Urshifus from the ETB. So let's see what we get. Reverse Hondor and a Orbeetle. And if it wasn't already obvious enough, I mean, you can guys, you guys can see in the background, we have an entire wall of, of battle style ETBs, as well as the Shining Fates ETB at the very top, which is where we pulled the uh, Charizard VMAX out of a different set, but still. So, as always, guys, let me know how you how you guys been with uh, finding these cards i know they're getting tougher and tougher and tougher to find it's all about luck you know if you're going to hit these restocks you know it's there's really only two ways you're going to get a good restock hit it's either you're going to be just very lucky just happen to walk in on one or two you're gonna um you know you figured out the restock schedule you know um whether or not you know for me, honestly, I just don't have that kind of time to just sit around and wait and wait and wait. I know a lot of people do. I mean, that's how they make their living. You know, that's what they do. They just resell things online, including Pokemon cards. But for me, I do my best to try and figure out the schedule. But most of the time, it's just, you know, random. And a single strike, full art, Urshifu, finally, right there, as soon as we started, man. So that's always a good sign of things to come. So let's put that to the side and... Of course, as usual, there is, of course, eight packs in this box. I will open the first four, and my girl will open the uh, last four. And, you know, speaking of uh, finding Pokemon cards, I I don't know, you know, like, how do you guys feel about this whole scalping problem? Hold on, reverse Lorantis and a hollow Sandaconda. So let's get this out of the way, my girl open her four and hopefully she has a lot better look than i did but anyways as i was saying i know it's getting crazier and crazier with pokemon i mean people locking uh with stores changing their policies i mean i mean most stores not all of them but most stores have a policy about one per customer or one per this or one per that or two or three or so on and so forth and it's just i'm hoping that it goes away Cause you know it does it does kill me when I go into a store and if I'm lucky enough to find find some product and it, and they have a decent amount and then the cashier or whoever you know is there they tell me oh I'm sorry we have a limit of one per customer or something along those lines and then you got to walk out of the store leaving all that extra product on the shelves and so yeah I mean of course there's always workarounds with that you know you could always. Bring a friend, bring uh, a family member, whoever, you know, get, get one for you. But that's just like so much extra work, you know, just uh, get some cards, you know. I just hope, hopefully it goes back to the day. You can walk in, grab whatever you want, walk right back out. It is what it is. But as you guys can see right now, the ETB, man, so far, nothing amazing. I mean, I the best pull so far, of course, is this uh, Full Art Urshifu. But hopefully in this pack right here, she'll get something different. See, we got a Marwile, we got a Spoink, a Mr. Mime, a Bellsprout, an Onyx, Reverse Vivid. Ah, I'm not, not even going to try. <laughs> a Hollow Kingdra. Also, on that note, how are you guys with the names? Because I've seen so many YouTube videos and TikToks and whatnot. And 
for the most part, some of these names are pretty easy. Like that one right there, Spoink. A lot of these names are pretty easy and pretty obvious to pronounce. But some of these, some of these, uh, these names are just have different pronunciations. I see different YouTubers, different TikTok people, and everybody else have their own pronunciation. So let me know, guys. Which which of these cards do you just not know how to say? I, I know there's one in particular that we don't know how to say. I know. I forgot what it, I know. It's a yellow card. Pershu, Pershu, I don't know. That might be the only one that I stumble on. Everybody else, I pretty much can go through with the Earth Mustard and a oh, an Empoleon V alternate art, I believe. Rapid Strike, are you kidding? Yeah, I'm not exactly sure um, how rare this specific card is, but I'm pretty sure he's fairly rare. That is something. Finally, the ETV comes through, baby. That is what I want to see, man. That was right. That's it, man. Like I've said before, you know, when you're going through packs, whether it's an ETB or a, uh, a V-Box, singles, a blister pack, whatever it may be. When you're going through these packs, man, I mean, not pulling anything great can really, like, demoralize you. can really make you lose focus. Make you not give up, but definitely, like, not, like, have as much interest. But it's stuff like this, man, you know, pulling something different that will give you a little bit of hope moving forward. And that right there, I believe, was the last pack of the ETB. Um, not the best pull rates. I... I get it. I know that's the running joke with the battle styles, but out of this box, single strike Urshifu and the full art Empoleon V. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And I uh, did have another package come in earlier, so I'm going to open that and see what we got.